Good morning, everyone. Today we talk about candies, candies, and sweets. In the past, we have often discussed chocolate. As you know, our cooling and temperature regulation systems are frequently used in the chocolate production sector. The same thing happens in the production of candies. Yes, because where do we go to produce candies? Or toffee, specifically those gummy candies. There is a need to cool and regulate the temperature in the production process as well. Let's say that the way candies are produced fundamentally involves a sugar extruder, which is then used to shape the candy with a mold. This candy undergoes a thermal treatment process where it is typically cooled to remove the moisture present in the sugar so that it appears very shiny and has an appealing aesthetic. In addition to cooling, a specific heating process takes place to achieve a controlled temperature before packaging. It is interesting to observe how all food productions necessitate temperature control, whether it involves pasteurization or cooling and heating. In this case, it is not linked to a specific process for maintaining organoleptic characteristics, but rather to a purely aesthetic factor and the elimination of excess moisture that could likely alter the taste of the candies, such as in the process. In addition to this, on these production lines, there are processes that involve washing the production lines, which then require post-heating to dry the entire system and prepare it for new production. It's an interesting topic. Contact us, and we can explore it further. Have a good day.